What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about how you can edit 4K footage smoothly on almost any computer using proxies. So let's get started. If you guys have been following along on my Instagram stories and things like that, you would know that I went on a week-long road trip down through California. While I was down there, I brought my GH5 and my Ronin, and I just wanted to grab a whole bunch of clips of our entire trip so I can make a little bit of a video. If you want to check out the full video, I actually posted it. It's up on my channel already. It's called California in 4K. And you can go check it out. The link is down in the description below of this video. I shot the entire video in 4K on the GH5. Now, of course, if any of you guys have tried to edit in 4K, it can definitely slow down things in your computer. It can get to the point where you literally can't even press play, your computer is just totally glitching out, it's lagging, and you can't really watch or edit anything efficiently. Now a lot of you guys might just assume that you need to have more RAM, a better graphics card, something like that, something that has to do with your computer, when in reality there's actually a workaround in Premiere and many other editing softwares where you can edit 4K video but downsample the resolution to a 1080p, 720p, whatever you're wanting to, that better suits your computer. So what we're gonna be talking about today is called proxies. Since we're gonna be using Premiere today, long story short, when we import all of our 4K files into Premiere, we're going to set our ingest settings so that Adobe Media Encoder goes ahead and changes all those files into a lower resolution for us to deal with. Now it might sound a little bit complicated, but it's actually super easy and you can do it in just seconds. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that right now. So of course, I'm sure many of you guys have used Premiere already, so you're familiar with this starting screen. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new project, and I'm just gonna call this 4K proxy example, just for the sake of this tutorial. I'm gonna leave all of this stuff the same, but I'm just gonna go straight over here to ingest settings. Now, I'm just gonna click this ingest box. Now you guys might be wondering what does ingest mean? So ingest settings are settings that you tell Premiere that once you import your footage, this is what I want done with this footage. I wanna either transcode this footage, I wanna create a proxy, I wanna create a copy, and all that can be done via our ingest settings in the new project window. So once you click this little ingest box, you can go here to the copy, and you can just go down on the options here and you can go down to create proxies. So I'm just gonna click that and now as you see our preset changes to a video output or a video resolution output essentially. So if I click on that, there's a whole bunch of different options that I have. Now you might not be sure which one to pick but the one that I always like to go with is the 1280 by 720 Apple ProRes 422 proxy. I just find that that's a good one for sort of my overall needs. It converts my 4K footage into 720p files. It just helps my computer run a little bit faster, especially once I get a whole bunch of footage in one timeline. If you guys have a little bit of a faster computer, you could go ahead and do the 1024 by 540 Apple ProRes, which is essentially 1K. Again, I would only really recommend that if you have a little bit of a faster computer. So in this case, I'm just gonna stick with my 1280 by 720 Apple ProRes proxy. So I'm just gonna click on that, and now my preset is set to 720p. So from here, I'm all good to go, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. So as you see, our Premiere window looks exactly the same as it always does. Nothing looks quite different. So from here, I'm just gonna import some media. So I've selected a few 4K files from my recent trip to California. Just at random here, and as you see, they're all loaded in like that. So almost immediately after you import your footage, Adobe Media Encoder will open itself up and it will automatically load in all of your files that you just imported into Premiere and it will start to export them all as proxies into your desired preset. So in this case, if you're unsure what your preset was, you can just look right down here and as you see it says video 1280 by 720, which is 720p. Apple ProRes 422 proxy. So that's what all of this video is about to be converted into. Luckily for us, we don't have to do anything besides just wait for Media Encoder to work its magic. So instead of boring you guys while this does its thing, I'm just gonna skip ahead and meet you guys back in Premiere when all of our proxies are finished exporting. So now all of our proxies are done exporting and we can tell just by looking under our status bar, you see that they're all say done and there's a little green check mark beside all of our imported files. 
So now that I'm in Premiere, I want to take a look at my video files and double check that there is a proxy actually attached to them. Now you might be wondering how can you double check to see if a proxy is attached to a file or not. So if you go up to this little bar at the top and you just right click, you can go down to metadata display. If you click on that and just type in proxy in the search bar, you'll notice that these three little options come up. If you just click this one that just says proxy, click on that, click OK. Now if you scroll way, way over, you'll find a proxy column with all of our videos. So we know that our proxies are active and attached to each of these files. If it says attached in the proxy column, if for whatever reason it did not work, it will say offline instead of attached. So now that all our proxies are loaded in, let's bring in one of our files into a timeline. So I'm just gonna drag and drop a random file into my timeline to create a sequence. So now if I just scrub through here, you can see how smoothly I can look at this file. Now, depending on your computer, if you press play, you might experience just a little bit of lag still, perhaps a little bit less than you have with 4K file, but still a little bit of lag nonetheless. What you can do instead to help your situation out a little, if you go to this little tab right here called the playback resolution tab, you can just click on that and you have a couple different options to change how your video is being played back to you. Currently it's set to full resolution, but you can also change it to half, quarter, or eighth. No matter what setting you have for your playback resolution, it will not affect your export. It's just to help make things a little bit easier in the editing process. So I'm just gonna throw mine way down to eighth and I'm just gonna see how this works. If I press play, you can see how much smoother the footage has become. Even though it's now playing back at one eighth of the resolution, I can see my footage completely clearly with absolutely no lag. It's playing back a full 4K file in a 720p proxy at one eighth resolution and there's almost no lag whatsoever. Now, of course, depending on the capabilities of your computer, you could have your playback resolution set to something a little bit higher. You could change your proxies to 1K proxies instead of 720p proxies. There's a whole bunch of different options for you, but I just wanted to demonstrate a way to pretty much put almost no strain on your computer. Now, just for the sake of example, I've imported another file. This one I'm just going to call 4K no ingest. This file is going to play back at 4K full resolution, no proxy attached. So. As I mentioned before, because there is no proxy attached, if I look in my proxy column, it says offline. So that means that when I put it in my timeline, it's going to be playing back at a full 4K resolution. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drag and drop that into my timeline like so. Already, as you can see, just trying to scrub through it, it's already substantially more laggy than our proxy. So if I go to my proxy, you can see how much smoother I can just scrub through this video. Now. Let's try to play them side by side and see how they compare. This again is a 720p proxy playing back at 1 8th resolution. Now this is the 4K file playing back at 1 8th resolution so it's helping my computer a little bit but as you can see there is still a little bit of lag compared to our proxy. Although on my computer the lag may seem seemingly minor at this point, once you add in a lot more video into your timeline you have multiple video clips, multiple audio clips, that's when you'll really notice a difference between editing with a proxy and editing something that is at full resolution. Anyways guys, I hope this tutorial helped you to learn how to edit your 4K files on any of your home computers. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to stay up to date with all of my latest tutorials. Again, my name is Brandon from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you next time.